Uh, just one note, this is the first time this season Rhode Island has had four players in double digits in a game. Coach, go ahead. Sure. Uh, well, good afternoon. I thought that was a, uh, that was Rhode Island basketball right there. That was a great win for the university, great win for the program, great win for the conference. Um, and it just showed that uh, we are uh, continuing to grow, continuing to develop, we're following the process. And uh, guys are starting to mature, our young guys are starting to mature. And these three guys up here along with Surreal as our veteran leaders, um, you know, have really, uh, have really, uh, you know, just done it all. I mean, I'm just so proud of these guys. You know, Rich Jeff scored the ball today, Ray CT defended, the way Fox distributed the ball and scored the basketball. You know, it's everything that we've been talking about over the past two weeks. I think we're starting to see some development and some progress, and um, you know, I'm excited about where this team can go. For any of the players, uh, how much did your mark, mark, your previous March experience help in this game? You, you kind of ran away with it there at the end. How did maybe playing in NCAA tournament games help you do that today against West Virginia? Yeah, you can prepare this a lot. You know, um, this is an NCAA caliber team. And, um, you know, we've been we've been to this WWE tournament uh, back to back years, so we uh, had a lot of experience going into this game. So that really helped us a lot. Um, for any of the players, obviously a very physical game and 28 fouls per team. So, how did you adjust to what the referees were doing out there and, um, and, and manage not to get a bunch of players fouled out in the second half? Very physical team, and uh, very physical team. Yeah, um, we we uh, we play physical basketball. Um, we, didn't, we knew we had to come out playing physical, so it set the tone. And uh, once we got adjusted, we, we figured out how to rest the call of the game. We just had to adjust. In, in the huddles, uh, coach was just telling us play our ball, but play it to a certain degree and, and just be able to come out and continue to fight and uh, play our game. I'd like to get, follow up on that uh, question by giving the refs some credit. That was an awfully physical game both ways. You know, it wasn't an easy game to ref uh, at all. and. Uh, you know, I, again, I want to give those three veteran guys a, a, a lot of credit for uh, I mean, calling the game the way they call it. I mean, they called fouls that they saw. I mean, obviously, we thought that they missed some. I'm sure Coach Huggs thought that you know, someone missed them in both ends. But that's basketball. That's the game. That's the way the game is played. But those guys did a tremendous job of it. Thank you. Um, David. What have you seen out of this group, particularly the last two games, to finish what you did against Holy Cross and then finish down the stretch again today? How have they been able to you know, sort of maintain through the first 30 and, and play as hard as they did the last 10? Well, I think the first thing you mentioned, that, I mean, these three guys, plus Surreal up here, they've had, you know, experience in big games. they played in the NCAA tournament. they played, you know, in championships in the A-10. So that experience, they kind of fall back on. Not to mention, you know, because of the way the schedule is broken down, we've had a lot of time in the gym. We've had a lot of time to really work on ourselves and in working on ourselves you know i think that these guys are starting to find a rhythm i think they're starting to understand exactly what it's going to take from these guys as far as their effort and their leadership to get us these victories and those freshmen start to grow up and i think you saw that today uh coach uh, surreal was in college with the first half and we got a lot from the second i'm looking at the floor even uh what does he bring to the table uh, especially down the stretch with the so real yeah Wow, I mean, he's just, he's a, he's a, he's a man, he's a, grown, he's a grown man, you know, I didn't want to have to sit him that long in the second half, but I just felt that, you know, the game hadn't, you know, it wasn't out of hand, we were out of any lead, or it was a one or two point game, so there was no reason to throw him back in there and get in that third foul, and uh, he knew that, he understood that, and he came out with a tremendous amount of energy, finished with 15 and 6, I mean, he's tenacious, he's a great rebounder, he's finishing, you know, a lot better than he has in the past two years, and his defense is, you know, probably one of the top defenders, you know, in the post at least, a whole man in the country. So, you know, we, we value him tremendously, and, uh, you know, I think his value was shown today in a game like that against the Big 12 competition. Any more questions? Last uh, You guys fit bit to the 52-50 lead after you guys had led pretty much the whole way. I think you led 33 minutes in this game. Um, can you talk about the character of this team and not allowing them to take control at that point after it seemed like they had the momentum? Um, yeah, we have uh, really good leaders. Uh, we have a uh, tremendous uh, all the experience, I guess you could say. Uh, we've been to this tournament twice, or they have. I've been here once, so <laughs> um, it's just it just talks to like how cool we are. Honestly, uh, me, Jeff, Cyril, and um, CT. Um, 
I'm all for his guys. And when t things get tight, we just tell each other that um, we're here for each other and we slow things down. So. Uh, Jeff, your career, dude, you're 10 and 5. Your teams are 10 and 5. Uh, in neutral court games, that includes some games here, NCAA games, Atlantic 10 games. How much of this program's identity is relishing that stage and, and being able to perform on it? Um, yeah, you know, we always win these big games, these big neutral site games, so, uh, you know, we got to step up and play, play for, uh, play for our fans, play for each other, and, uh, every time we step onto the court, you know, we talk about shoes the same way as the other team, we go out there and we compete, and it's a war out there on the court. And to play against these big, um, these big men teams or these neutral courts, you know, we know who's going to go out there, we got to go play on our hardest, play for our brothers, and, you know, we can't go up there and win like that, so, uh, that's what we did tonight. Thanks, guys. Thank you.